Hey everybody, this is Ben, Ben and Beta, and I'm here with... Justin. Justin, who I think you've probably seen before in many other videos. And he's gonna tell us a little bit about some of the 23, uh, the, the 23 Zero tents um, that we're interested in purchasing in the future. So, take it away. Cool, Ben. Uh, so there's a few things that you need to think about. If you're looking at a rooftop tent, um, to make a good choice, there's some things that you need to think about. What it's gonna mount on, how high it's gonna mount, how many people it's gonna have in it, how fast you want it to go, do you want an annex? Just a couple of bits here, right? So we're gonna narrow that down. I'm gonna help you walk through the process. Sounds good. So tell me what sort of vehicle have you got? Currently I have a Hyundai Tucson, so that's not gonna work okay. very well. Okay. But we are looking at a truck, a pickup truck in like the next year. So that's what we're Short gonna bed or long bed? Uh, it's gonna be a Tacoma, probably short bed. Yep. Like Trail Hunter or something now like that. Now we're talking, now we're talking, now we're looking. Like that, yeah. So as you go down that path, so right, we've narrowed down if it's a short bed. Uh, do you want to mount the tent above the roof line or below the roof line? Uh, probably below the roof line, I think. Sweet. Yep. Now we're getting some answers. Yep. So now we're starting to narrow that down because if you're going to mount below the roof line, you need a tent size that's overall size is about 62 inches. Okay. So now that's narrowed you down. Okay, so the, the wedge style camper, that's out. That's out. The, the wedge style Kabari at the front, that's probably out. The one we're standing in front of, which is the A3. This is now out. Okay. Um, and one we're going to direct you to is the uh, Walkabout 62, okay. Breezeway 62, so they're both a soft shell tent, or we have the A2 or X2. So all of those tents fit into those parameters, so you can mount it below the roof line and still have a good functioning tent. Because again, if otherwise you're going to have the thing hanging out, look stupid, yep. it really is not safe. Yep. So 62 inches are your overall measurements. All right. So now we've narrowed that down. So we're at 62 inch yep. is the biggest. Biggest bang for buck is walk about 62. Okay. It's a soft shell design tent. Um, price wise is good. Setup time is fantastic. Um, pack up time does take a little longer because yep. you've got to put the, put the cover back on. Uh, once you've flipped into a hard shell like these guys, Pack up and set up is just a breeze. Probably looking for hard show. I think yeah, we're going that way for sure. We're seeing the market really swing that way, and it's really it's it's a um, the difference in the price versus the difference in convenience, and that's really what we're talking about. It's it's an extra thousand bucks to go. Yep. But after a year of doing that, you go, you know what? Save a lot of time. It's money well spent. Or if it's going to rain, just out of the sudden, like just get it Super up, right? quick, super exactly. quick. So let's go and have a look at the, we're going to go over to the Subaru, all right? So it's all not right. it's not a Tacoma or a Tucson, but it worked on a Tucson. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the Subaru. Like and I can show you how the tent actually works because it's a, it's it's really the speed of this thing that makes it what it is. So we've already kind of cheated a little bit on this one, Ben. Yep. Um, the guy, the spring rods are already out. All right. So it's normally I would have that out as the window up. Um, this runs a lever lock. Okay. All right. So we're gonna pop that lever lock. We're gonna pop the one on the other side. Have got one set of spring rods in. So I'm gonna get those out of the way. <laughs> And that's where this thing really comes into its own. So if you're looking for fast, this is fast. This is fast. You ready? Right. I've got to do it slow. So you go bang, bang, and that brings that down so it's ready to pack up. Yep. Grab the ladder, and everything is going to do its own thing for me. I don't really have to do much at all. It's that fast. And there's this little elastic strap. Okay. I'm going to pop that up through there. Up there like that, and that helps the pieces pull in. Grab the top. That's easy. Can't pretty beat fast, it. hey? That's pretty pretty fast. fast, yeah, yeah. Fast so, bang like for that. buck. Um, this is awesome. So there's a few things that make our tent different. So. Sounds like you're uh, going to be looking at lots of tents today and doing lots of videos. Sure will be. So let's give you some stuff that makes ours really different. Um, the speed of pack up, well, that just kicks butt all day. What does make it very different, though, and you're going to have to climb in it, my challenge to you, Ben, all right. is to show someone how no light works really well. Oh, uh, okay. On a camera. You can definitely do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a good trick. So, so 
Now, just for you guys at home, when you set up your ladder, this is a telescoping ladder. You'll find this on all of yep. the rooftop tents, all the good ones these days anyway. Hold the top of the, 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 the bracket, the ladder. Click, 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 no. That's pretty close. So if you do it the other way, you're gonna be left with this piece at the top that, that jumps, okay? So when you look inside there, you'll see that this is black on the inside. It's not black on the outside, it's black on the inside. Which is what you want for sleeping, right? That's exactly what you want for sleeping. So if you put the black on the outside, you're going to end up with massive heat coming in. So what we do there, we did this by mistake actually. <laughs> we, we didn't build it to be cooler, but it was an excellent byproduct. It's very dark in here with just even this one. Exactly. So if you're in a campsite, then you've got You've got the neighbors got their, their lights on and their party lights, or you're in a campsite and some guru comes through in a thousand watt fly burners on the roof of his truck and it goes past your tent, your tent lights up. You don't have you're it not. with this. You're not going to have it. You're sleeping sad. Exactly. You're not even going to know. I thought heavily about my Yeah, and the, the mattress is super comfortable. Like, I was very impressed with that. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. So the part that I do have to plug, all right, Eco 13B. So this is an ecologically sound fabric. This is actually made from recycled PET bottles. So what we did is we found a fabric that gave us an, an eco message. It's a recycled fabric. It also improved abrasive resistance, waterproof resistance, adhesion to the LST fabric. So all round, it was a plus, 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 and it's got a nice eco message to it. So. Eco 13B is one of the best things we've done, I think. This is first year in production. Already yesterday, these things got hammered all day. Yep. At water inside. Yeah. Awesome. How long have yeah. you been in this world? Uh, so we started in the States with 20 2016. I've been in this industry for 20 plus wow. years. I think it's getting closer to 30 yeah. now. It's long time. And it's been, it's kind of been more of a thing in, in Australia than even here. Like, it's like just outback um, in general, like just being out. In well, so, so the way that we travel is different yeah. to you guys. Yeah. Um, uh, there is no, uh, for you guys to go somewhere there's no gas, it's actually hard. Yeah. Yeah, really hard. Yeah. For us, you can do that in like two hours. Yeah. And, oh, and you've right. got, like, uh, and I should really uh, narrow that down a little bit. If to go somewhere in the US that there's no gas in a three hour drive, sure. you need to plan that. Right. In Australia, you could do that and go, oh crap. I have no gas. And it happens really, really fast. So um, for us, overland travel, really, if you compare our two countries, we're the same size as you, yep. but all of our population fits in LA. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So for us, as I said, it's just, it's just a thing. It's, we, we, it's kind of, Developed in the Overland name now, but it never was. Yeah. It was just it was fast. Just camping, man. Yeah, just camping. Camp yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one last question for you. So I have myself, mm -hmm. my wife, and our 70-pound dog. That's pretty much who will be staying in the tent the majority of the time. So uh, okay, so size wise, just thinking about that. So the other model, which is the A2, yep. the aluminum tent, it's just had its annex arrive. Okay. So a 70-pound dog's a big dog. Yep. Yep, if you can get the dog into the tent, and there's ways that you can go about that. There's yep. some um, pretty tricky ways that you can use the ladder to help the dog. Yep. Um, the A-series tent's the first one of the hard shell that we do that's actually got an annex attached to it. Okay. So that's worth looking at as well. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Super helpful. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day.